What is up? How are you today? Steve here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to figure out how many calories you need every day to achieve your fitness goals, whether that's losing weight or gaining muscle or cutting or bulking as it's known. Regardless of your goals, the first thing you'll need is a total daily energy expenditure or TDEE calculator. I'm about to show you everything you need to know about TDEE. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how many calories should be in your diet. The easiest thing to do to find one of these calculators is to Google TDEE. Use the first one that comes up, they all do the same thing. Make sure you follow this process step by step. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to calculate a TDEE for a 17 year old dude who, for the purposes of this, we're going to call George. George weighs about 65 kg, so that's about 143 pounds, and he's 175 centimeters tall, so that's like 5 foot 9. When it comes to George's activity level, we've got a couple of options. Sedentary means you do no exercise. Light means you do a little bit of exercise. Moderate, you exercise regularly. Heavy, you train hard. Athlete, you do nothing but train. So we'll say George is at home exercising as much as he can fairly regularly. We'll say he's moderate. We're going to hit calculate. And while we're waiting, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're following along and calculating your calories right now too. Once this is finished calculating, we'll see a screen that says George needs 2,579 calories a day. This means that he needs this amount of calories to maintain his current weight. This is an important number, but make sure you stick around. It's not the only number you'll need. In this particular calculator, if you scroll down, you'll see there's a load of other extra info that will be helpful to you in the long run, like the ideal weight you can achieve. If we keep scrolling, we'll see what we came here for. Maintenance, cutting, and bulking. These values are the most important numbers you need to know to start tracking your food. Standard practice is to take your maintenance calories, so for George, around 2,500, and add 500 for bulking, or take 500 away to cut. These are what's known as your caloric surplus for bulking and your caloric deficit for cutting. Now that you know your calories, head over to my video on MyFitnessPal to learn how to set up your macros and start tracking. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer you. See you in the next video.